Alrighty guys, welcome back to Gears of War, where today we are starting Gears of War 3. Now, I did already attempt this once, I did go for insane, and I learned something really quick. This game was really not balanced. So insane, like just in my own personal opinion, insane is... I could do it. But I don't want to spend the next two weeks trying to complete this game. I want to get it done within the next two days. Two, three days. Like I normally do. So, what we're going to do here is hit new. We're going to go over here to my previous save. Now, we're going to click boom. Now, this one does say it is on hardcore. That is because you can actually change the level once you hop in. And when I was originally going to just change the level and keep on going. So, like the first episode I already had recorded... Second episode, I was halfway through, decided, all right, I'm going to drop the level, because again, it was just like way too hard there, and we barely got into the game, <laughs> like barely, so yeah, anyways, here we go, hardcore. Rip that door. Huh. What are you doing here? Getting you out. Here, put this on. You'll need it. You can get into a lot of trouble for doing this. Not anymore. Things have changed. It's your father. He needs you. My father? But he's gone on you. He's dead. No, he's out there. He needs you. Anya, wait. What the hell's going on? So this is definitely, Anya. from what I understand, a recreation wait. of the beginning of the first game. But then it jumps to a flashback of why Marcus was in jail. Or an explanation. Sorry, he's giving me a piece of candy. Dad, keep your head down. Okay, everybody find some cover. Spread out along the wall. his work my father cared about his research he tried to save his work I tried to save him I disobeyed orders to do it but it cost us the battle Uh, 
Okay. You looking for Santiago? It's okay. I know where to find him. So again, I've already played this first mission once through on Insane, so I kind of already know what to do. So, I, I'm sorry if I, you know, yeah. So just like, about like halfway through the next episode, it should be back to normal. I've got crops to take care of. If we don't grow it, we don't eat it, remember? I think the radishes can cope without you for a while. Okay, let's get this over with. And again, I did also have the option of uh, keeping my first recording at my episode one, and then jumping back to the chapter where uh, I started playing as uh, Cole. But, you know, I decided to do this instead. Also, the candy I was just eating was... Uh, one of the cotton candy ropes, I think they are called. That what they're called? They're the Sour Boy Twisted Tang. Yeah, even when they're cotton candy, cars. sour candy. I love these things. All right. I need you to understand something. I'm not proud of this. It's definitely really unhealthy. The amount of candy I've eaten in the last two days. So I've eaten two of these bags in the last two days. I had the what are they called? The, Stock City out there. All right, all right. Give me a second. I'm gonna wait until after the cutscene. Damn, nearly got it that time. That candy's like ten years old, man. You're gonna puke your guts out. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a price I'm willing to pay. Guys, see, I see now. So yeah, I think it's the was it Sunshine Splash or whatever, or Sunrise Splash. That one's good. It's like a pineapple, orange, kind of. It's real good. I'm just not that big of a fan of pineapple, though. The cotton candy one. Mm. Perfect. So I'd definitely go check out those Sour Boy candies. Also, this is not sponsored. I just like them. I highly recommend people go try them, at least. You know? That's what I'm getting at here. Go try it. Also, this J Sky. I don't know where he came from. I'm pretty sure he might come from the comics. You came between Dom and his radishes, Lieutenant. This better be good. Good? Probably not. A shock? Yeah. Guess who's come back from the dead. Do I get a prize if I'm right? Chairman Prescott. No shit. You mean ex-Chairman Prescott? That asshole. He ran out on us 18 months ago. What's he expecting now, red carpet? I'm waiting to find out. Warship Sovereign. Hang on. This is KR-01 requesting permission to land. One passenger, Chairman Prescott. KR-01, this is Sovereign. You are clear to land. Deck team standing by. Wonder where Prescott managed to find a helicopter. He sure as hell didn't leave with one. He never called, he never sent flowers. Oh, I can't wait to hear this shit. I'll get the popcorn. So Chairman Prescott was the guy from the last game that gave a speech before we dove into the do some real damage, the hollow. Also, I'm pretty sure Jace might be from the comics like Ty was. Got polyps. I'm also pretty sure Ty was from the comics. I'm not 100% sure. I've never read the Gears of War comics. I ain't gonna lie, the hammer burst actually kind of slaps on Insane. So I'm also gonna grab it and give it a shot here on Hardcore. Don't know what it was, but it died a lot easier. Oh my, am I? I'm on hardcore, yeah. You won't believe the damage difference. Oh, I'm not joking, I would have to mag dump. Like legit full on mag dump. One of these guys on uh, on insane before they would even take any damage. Now these guys as well, 
the bigger bloated guys, they were a menace. I hate them. All right, you don't understand how bad they got. So they got this ability uh, that they start doing here once we go over to Cole's perspective of the mission. Where uh, they pop up like their arms grow into heads and start shooting you. Better park that nice new raven carefully. Nice shiny and black. I'm with Dom on that. You think he knows that the cog fell apart after he disappeared? You think he cares? Chairman Prescott, welcome to what's left of the cog. I'll have answers for you, ladies and gentlemen. But later, I need to see Colonel Hoffman immediately. Hoffman's been gone almost as long as you have, Chairman. He's dead? He left to take a group of civilians to Anvilgate. Captain Michelson's the senior officer now. Not that we have much of a military left. I'd better talk to the gallant captain then. I have a mission for him. Oh, and Sergeant Phoenix, you'll want to see this. If I... This better not be a shopping list. Let's go check it out. If I remember correctly, the gears in the black armor. I might be wrong on this. They're either traitors or secretly locust. I know that sounds weird, but I can't remember. They're attacking in waves. Let's go, people. Sooner we kill these things, sooner we get to CIC and find out what's so important on this goddamn disc. Duck, duck, duck. Aim for the headshots, that's a lot easier. That's why I was saying the hammer burst kind of slapped and uh, insane. It was a lot easier to land headshots. Now for this, those guys, the, the Lancer was the best because you could focus fire directly into their gut and it spits out ammo like crazy. This one, though, is a bit more pinpoint, so I like it. Okay. Yep, we got him. Got the music there. Um, now, there is one gun I will always pick over the hammer burst. I shouldn't even be picking these up, because just in case I need to. Cause I'm about to trade out for a long Let's shot. Stairs and see what's on the desk. Boom! This Give me the cool. ammo. Sixteen, and we'll go down here. Kicking cans, Marcus. You're kicking cans. I don't even know what I'm talking about. There, finally got it, Marcus. If you get this message, if you're still alive, I need your help. Oh, God. This time I really am asking Marcus. for your help. Please. It's your father. Listen. Yeah, I know It's complicated and I don't have much Wait, time. but I thought... Leave it, Jace. I'm being held prisoner by the Locust. I've developed a solution for the Lambent problem. They think they can use it to kill humans as well, but they don't realize... Marcus, he knows about the Lambent. And he looks older than when... Uh, than when we saw him die. I know. If he's still alive, I've got to find him. Any way to tell when this was recorded? There's no date code. Hang on. They don't realize that it won't save the Locust. Sarah's dying, Marcus. The whole planet's infected. It's the emotion that's killing it. 
It was always the emotion, you see, and I can stop it. I understand it all now. I've tried to contact you over the years, but I've been helping. Dear machine, Baird's never here when you need him. Brace, 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 brace for impact! Nobody braced. I'll figure out a way to decode the rest of that disc, Marcus. We'll find him. Come on! Everybody get out there and finish these assholes! This is the chairman. Great. Now we get the cover. Boom. Oh, I almost forgot. Gut shot and pop, damn it. I didn't realize they threw a grenade up there. This does not feel like it's on insane. I feel like I'm wiping through this. Or, this doesn't feel the same as insane. I feel like I'm literally breezing through this on hardcore. But I also gotta remember, this is the first mission, and on Insane as well, I did kind of breeze through it compared to this next mission here, where we're, when we're with Cole. Because, like, something I'm pretty sure that only took me, like, 30 minutes took me in an hour and a half. And, uh, yeah. It was just because we get a different variant here. Okay, let's run over here, get in cover, boom. And Just a heads up for my people. Uh, seeing how I did have to restart the game, I also cracked me open a Budweiser Shalada and uh, been a little buzzed. So, I don't know how long these this is going to go. Next episode might be me in, like, you know, cheering along with Cole and impersonating Cole. Who knows? Let's see how this goes. That actually might be entertaining and good content for YouTube. But I also might get accused for uh, cultural appropriation. But, you know, who... You, you just can't contain yourself when you hear Cole start cheering, you know? You just want to start hooting and hollering along with him. Anyone near the lift controls? Raise the deck lift. You got it, Phoenix. Anya, you got this. You're in my way, though. <coughs> Who the hell threw the smoke? It's also weird that we got smoke fire, grenades. Fire. Fire is a galley flat. Fire control team is a galley flat. I know I still have the long shot here. Uh, the plan is that we're going to save it here for once we're in the hangar bay. And we're dealing with the, the ravens. I think that's what they're called. Sorry. King ravens. That's their full name. Come on, there we go. Gonna go get this last fire here. I technically don't have to, but I want to. Prescott, keep your fucking head down. 
Got it. Cutscene time. Oh, both his, all of his guards died. I'm pretty sure. You must I already said up. that, didn't I? Why not? We'll find someone to do it. Oh, very well. Stand by. Michelson's gone. Phoenix, get down to the hangar. The helicopters are under attack. We need to get them airborne right away. Are you wounded? Yes, but then I. Then you stay here, and you don't move until we get back. Understood? I'll try not to get myself killed, Sergeant. Yeah, you do that. I'm not the conversational type. But when I get back, I want a nice long chat. I'll come back and give you first aid as soon as we've got the choppers away, okay? We should have handcuffed him to a pipe. In case he does another disappearing act. He's not going anywhere without his chopper. Delta to hangar deck. KR units. I'm just going to say it there? once again. I don't We've trust Prescott. In the air. Delta, or his men. My bird's attack, but my crew's down. I need a hand. Hang tight. We're on our way. Oh, shit. You hear that? Sounds like more problems. Yep, they're definitely polyps. I already knew they were coming. These things are awesome to do this to. Don't kill it, don't kill it. Oh, I still got one. You can kick them. You need to find some... Find some ammo. We got some over here. It's not gonna give me a whole lot, but it's gonna at least give me some. Um, I know I can get the job done with this. This is definitely my new favorite pistol in this game. Fire in the hole! They definitely made some improvements on it in uh, Gears 3. I'm not dead yet, Sergeant, if that's what you mean. Just checking. I'd hate to lose you all over again. Just looking for ammo. We're almost there. We just have to get through the storm. <laughs> Sorry to cut Marcus off there, but I'm... I really shouldn't be trying to hurry. You know, I don't have anything to worry about. You can take my time. Yeah, I am gonna do it. Just because it was helping me pretty good in uh insane. Two ravens unable to lift off. It's okay. We'll take care of it. Damn it. You know what? This was doing better on hardcore. I prefer the snub. Because I got that rapid fire. Okay, I gotta stay down for a bit, I'm gonna die. Night little thing I learned. You know, insane. If you shoot them directly in the gut with a sniper rifle, you get a big boom. Come on, pop your head up. Messed up the reload. Pretty sure we're gonna get one more dredge here. Right. No. 
I think we just have to approach the King Raven. On, Might be a little different than insane, I guess. You just worry about getting that raven in the air. We'll take care of the lift. Minor delay, zero one. Chloe's first. Okay, let's get to the control room. Should have grabbed that Lancer ammo back there. We still can. Come on. That's something else I learned on Insane. If you hop over a barricade and, like, kick them or bump into them, you'll actually kick them and stun them. Then you can chainsaw. One away, one to go. KR-03, are you ready to launch? I'm pinned down in Bay 3. I can do with a hand here. Hang tight. We're on our way. The Laminate it's Leviathan. Look out, it's coming back. It's a goddamn Leviathan. Come on, people, give it everything you got. Usually one mag sends it. There we go, that should do it. Come on, let's get up top and sink that bitch before we lose anyone else. Find the lift controls! Lampus! Okay, it seems like on hardcore I can kind of go Terminator in certain scenarios like that, like just full on charge them, and there's not much they can do to stop me. Um, but they're like that on a, ooh, that on insane was quite literally insane to do. Decks on fire. Prepare to evacuate. All non -essential personnel Messed up my reload, damn it. That was stupid. Yep. That was stupid. Okay, so another thing. In Insane, they don't get the option to revive you. Alright? That's like something that they take away from you completely on uh, Insane. Come on, flood it! If it spreads, we'll lose the fuel tanks! I'm about to die. I did think about, like, checkpoint, checkpointing back so I could do... I'm... Quit it. 
quit it. You just wasted two ammos on this. That's what we were trying to do. That's another thing you can do with the pistols. You can zoom in. You can also do that with the hammer burst. And it is a lot better. Like, you zoom, zoom in. Like, fully. Alright, so, ammo. We're blocked off! Open the water valve! Definitely need more ammo for this thing. None of you guys can do it? Okay. Also, the AI don't automatically do things at all. I wish they would do that. But then again, they also have to have the player manually, like, move forward in the, in the, in a check, in a checkpoint, you know? Can't see anything. There we go. We're cut off. Find the water valve. Then this poor lady. All right, that's two. One more to go. I need ammo for this. Give me. She's a got about to go boom. Then. That thing can't take a hit. Must be an engineering. Miracle we didn't get killed. Spark is That's one big, ugly motherfucker. Call, can you see this shit? Where's your bird? Maybe we got a grandstand view. We're crossing the bridge right above the ship. Any way you can kill this thing from where you are? I put this on typically. We need to blow his brains out of his ass. Well, get Baird to come up with an idea. Baird's idea was not that bright. Gotta find a way back up to the flight deck. Just, just a heads up. All lifeboats away. I repeat, all lifeboats away. What? Chemicals. Look out! It's smashing through the deck. I think this would probably be best for this place. Okay, that should be all of them. No, because then he bites and more come out.
get up top before that thing comes back. Marcus, while you were taking a break, huh, the blind genius had an idea. Can you lower that bitch to the front end so we can give it a headache? Animals just love me. Stand by, Cole. We're gonna need a bigger cattle prop. Let's use the two silverbacks in the maintenance bay. Marcus, run! That thing's gonna flatten us! Okay, the two silverbacks are in that bay. Let's get the door open! Okay, so these silverbacks are pretty fun. Now, this is also pretty much towards the end of uh, the mission here. We're at 36 minutes. Damn. Boom! Hop our way through here. This guy's gonna pop up. Take out the eyes. That's one eye. That's two eyes. All right, both eyes are out. Okay, that's a good sign. When he does that, that's the sign that you've done enough damage and he's not about to break your shit. Also, these gorillas are pretty resilient, but in Insane, the polyps, no matter what, they one-shot you. Unless it's a directly to the front, then it takes about two or three polyps to kill you. But don't let the polyps get near you at all. That's just a good rule of thumb. We are. I am trying to fire. It's just I'm running out of ammo. I keep on overheating. I think we're going to fail. All right. We got it. We barely got it. The amount of guys that just keep on jumping up is insane. Okay. Should be the last wave. Or, yeah, the last time we have to fight this dude. There we go. Alrighty, apparently I reached level 15. I'm 
level 14 now, apparently. But yeah, anyways. So that's where I called it last episode. And I'd say we're pretty, we're at a good time here. We're at 40 minutes. So anyways, I am going to call it here. So if you guys have found yourself at any point liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys get notified upon me posting videos. And just one last thing before I forget, I am currently running a YouTube channel membership goal. We're currently trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. I'm currently sitting at two. It's $1.99 to join. And once we hit that goal of 10 members, I will be opening up an ARC server for everyone to join up in and play in. Now, I am going kind of back on what I said here in a previous episode where we're going to allow Discord members in as well. We're going back just to members only for this for this server. So, anyways, if you guys are interested in that and just interested in supporting the channel, please do consider it. But anyways, this has been Gunshy Mori signing off. Yeah.